President Trump gives his speech, State of the Union speech, and this this is going to be fun. It's going to be an endless parade of, as Rush said, you say, it's an endless parade of human debris. Mark Ruffalo, I have no idea who that is, and a bevy of Hollywood fixtures, including director Michael Moore, the views Whoopi Goldberg. Rosie Perez and Sex and the City Cynthia Nixon are participating in a star-studded counter-event to President Trump's State of the Union. So, here you're going to have whatever this place is, it's going to be taken over by these placo nutcase liberals. <laughs> this is going to be fun to watch. The so-called People's State of the Union will be held on Monday night before Trump's address to Congress on January 30th. <laughs> yeah! We follow one of Trump's most outspoken Hollywood clip critics, told People magazine, magazine that an alternative event would be a better reflection of their State of the Union based on a more populist point of view, based on people's point of view. No, that is a lie. You are a liar, 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 pants on fire. Mr. Ruffalo, you are a liberal elitist. Your views don't reflect those of many of us out here. I think it's important because we have a president who has a difficult time telling with the truth, who has a radical, diverse, divisive agenda and spends an enormous amount of time focusing on negative and hopelessness and despair, the Oscar nominated actor said. The function hosted by the United We Stand, MoveOn.org, the no action, political action, and Stand Up America also reportedly feature comedian Wanda Sykes, who I have read before on my channel, actress Kathy the Jimmy, singer Andrew Day, and rapper Tom. I have no idea who any of those are. ITK has learned ticket gathering will help take place in New York City and be live live streamed online. Boy, I'm just so going to <laughs> watch that. Now, the spotlight uh, star Ruffalo called the People State of the Union is a celebration of the power and beauty of the new movement, but also of our accomplishments. What accomplishments? You're a bunch of liberal elitists who uh, can't figure anything else to do so you go into acting. And Michael Moore's an actor, too. Uh, and the focus on what will come in the future. This will be... I'm not actually going to watch this, but it's going to be fun. <laughs> I, it would be fun if I did watch this. It'll be an endless parade of human debris. As Rush Limbaugh used to say, an endless parade of human debris. That's all these people are, as far as I can see. Now let's take a look at Michael Moore. Here, this is just a bonus. Now, Donald J. Trump has proven himself to be completely unfit for office. <laughs> A threat to our country and an imminent danger to the world. He's not well, he is a malignant narcissist, <laughs> an act of him. <laughs> and because he holds the codes for fire nuclear weapons, he's a single, singular threat to humanity, he wrote. <laughs> it talks about, you know, the rest of the liberal elitists. Now, Michael Moore, he's the only liberal elitists I've ever seen wears blue jeans and acts like he's blue collar, but this is not a blue collar person. He's a very wealthy man. Make no mistake, this is liberal elitist. Despite his uh, 
uniform that he wears, so to speak. He pretends to be a blue-collar man and a ball cap and all that in order to make him seem like, well, he's, you know, he's part of us, but in fact he's not. He's a liberal elitist, a real piece of dung as far as I'm concerned. Well, <laughs> this is going to be fun. I'm not going to watch it, but it's going to be fun. <laughs> ah! I'll give you the highlights, maybe, after it's done, but, uh... <laughs> ah, I can't stop laughing. Oh, boy. Bunch of deranged... Imagine a big room packed full of people who have Trump derangement syndrome. Oh boy. <laughs> I'm going to fetch the bars. <laughs> Thanks for watching.